Hi, I'm Lee at Iridium. I hope everyone's doing all right today. So I'm gonna carry on with the underrated and overlooked bands, the A to Z. So we got up to I. So I couldn't, there's not many bands beginning with I that I can see that are overlooked or underrated. So I've got one each, one for I and one for J. Now, as the series goes on, there are some letters. Literally, there'll be about four episodes on one letter because I don't want to make these videos too long. It should be, um, you know, short and to the point. So that's what it's all about. So I've only got two bands to talk about. So for the letter I today, the first band I want to talk about is Icon. So American band, heavy rock. They, they was in that 80s heavy rock glam metal sort of category. Um, formed in 1979 and broke up in 1990. So they have reformed in 2008, but no new material yet, which is a shame. It'd be cool if they get something out. So 1984 self-titled album. Really good, sort of finding their feet a little bit for a debut. Some For some fans, it's their favorite album though. But it was the next album, 1985, Night of the Crime, that really, like, you know, it, it's sort of seen now as a huge album. If you look at any sort of poll, you look, they look back on this as a classic, but obviously at the time, it didn't do a lot, you know, and um, it, this was more sort of underrated and overlooked at the time, I suppose. But now people look back on it like many albums do now. And, you know, they look back on it and think, you know, that is such a big, should have been such a huge album and band. But sadly, it wasn't. Night of the Crime is just, from start to finish, a classic melodic hard rock album. And they also, I mean, this just shows you, just straight after that album, which was such a classic <clears throat> for me, anyway, um, they had problems with a record get with a record company and they had to produce like a limited cassette only album more perfect union in 1987 so that just shows you doesn't it the quality of this band and not sure exactly what happened with the record company but record companies should have been like you know queuing up especially around that time 1987 ridiculous so they bought out this um cassette and then in 1989 an album called right between the eyes <laughs> Now, this is another great album, but a vocalist had to replace the vocalist for the cassette and this one. It was Jerry Harrison was the vocalist before it was Stephen Clifford on on um, on the debut album and Night of the Crime. So I'm sure a lot of people watching this channel have heard of this band, but there's probably some that haven't. You know, so this is for those people. Have a listen. Obviously, there's not a lot to go back on. You find all the stuff on YouTube. Obviously, stuff. Some of the stuffs also on um, Spotify and the, all those sort of things. So easy to find their music, and I suggest you go back. And if you like that melodic hard rock of the 1980s, Icon are an absolutely amazing band. So give them a listen. Okay, next up for Jay. Joshua. So, Christian metal band formed in 1980. This band are actually still together. The name has changed slightly over the years. So they've been called Joshua, Jaguar, Empire, letter M, then Pyre. I don't know what the meaning of that was. And Joshua Pariah. So he's the lead guitarist. So it's been named Joshua Pariah again as well. But I think at the moment it's Joshua. But obviously the band is centered around, like I said, Joshua Pariah, who is just one amazing guitarist. He can like play really quick, but also melodic. So he's a shredder, but he can play really a lot with a lot of melody as well. So, I mean, these were a huge part of my, my, my childhood, <clears throat> especially a couple of these albums, which I'm going to talk about. Um, not so much the first album. I didn't get into them straight away. So 1983, the hand is quicker than the eye. I came out. 
Um, they actually had a number one in Japan called November Is Going Away. So that was like a big hit for them in Japan. As a lot of these bands in the 80s, they were big in Japan sometimes and not so big in their uh, own country. So 1985, Surrender. What a great album. This had Jeff Fennell on vocals. I'm sure a lot of you Christian metal guys know about him. And Ken Templin was in the band as well on guitar and vocals. This was just a, an amazing album. Surrender is like one of the seen yet again as a sort of a classic, but it sort of can be forgotten as well. But then, 1988, Intense Defence with Rob Rock singing. <laughs> So Jeff Van Alt went, Ken Tamplin wrote some songs for um, Intense Defence, but I don't think he was playing on it. But what a great album, what a great vocalist Rob Rock is as well. What a brilliant fit. That, that is such a classic album in my opinion as well. 1995, they released Chapter One under the Empire name. Um, that album sort of a little bit, not as, for me, wasn't quite, on par with the stuff, you know, 1995, difficult, difficult time. But 2001, they brought out something to say under the Joshua Pariah name. Got to say and this was a great album. Had Alex Legertwood, who was uh, with Santana for a while as well. He did the vocals on this album. What a great album. And then Resurrection came out a little while later with Mark Bowles on vocals, who sung with Ingwie Malmstream. So you can the quality of Joshua Pryor is bringing in all these brilliant musicians and vocalists, but they had another band. You know, I don't know if it what was holding them up was they were a Christian metal band. Sometimes not accepted in the whole of the heavy rock community, but man, listen to some of these albums. For me, Surrender and Intense Defense were just stone cold classics, but. Something to say on Resurrection as well. Also had some really good songs on. So check out Joshua. They are my two underrated and overlooked bands. Icon and Joshua. Let me know if you've uh, obviously heard of them anyway and you like their stuff. If you haven't, there'll be clips on here so you can get an idea of what they're like. And let me know if you're going to have a little listen now. So... Thank you very much. Really enjoying this um, series A to Z of rock and metal. It's really cool. Can't wait to do the next one and I'll see you next time.